All right, guys, so legal problem number 20, valid parentheses. So in this problem, we're giving a string of um, a set of parentheses or brackets or curly brackets, and we have to decide if those, um, if that set of brackets is uh, like, I guess like it's possible. So for example, this one, we're just giving uh, two normal uh, parentheses. Uh, so that would be possible. But for example, if we got like, um, like square bracket and then a curly bracket, then that would be false because it, it's not possible. Uh, so first, we're going to start by keeping track of the open brackets. So we're going to say stack will equal some list. And in that list, we're going to keep track of the open brackets. Then we're going to map out the closing brackets to their matching matching opening brackets. So we're just going to say mapping is equal to, uh, it's going to be a dictionary, so curly brackets. And then backwards uh, parentheses will be our forward parentheses. And then our backwards uh, curly bracket would be our forward curly bracket and lastly our backward square bracket will be our forward square bracket and that's the dictionary we need now we're going to loop through each character in the string uh, that we're given so we're just going to say for character in string uh, we're going to check if it's a closing bracket so if character is in the mapping so if it's if it's already one of these um closing brackets, semicolon, then we're going to pop the last opening bracket from the stack if available. So we're going to say top equals stack dot pop if stack else no. Uh, and then if the pop the from the bracket doesn't match, then the string is invalid. So we can just say if mapping um, character not uh, not in pop then then we can return false else and we exit this one we go to this one else we can just say return or stack dot append character character so it's just if it's an opening bracket then we're going to push it into our list that we made and that is it we're just going to go ahead and uh exit this yeah um uh, yeah so we can just since the stack should be empty if all the brackets were matched we can just return return not stack there we go and yeah that's it let's go ahead and submit it and there you go that was correct uh hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one thank you for watching